Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Oregi PV TV the day with the latest news out of the PV industry summarized for you. Nice to have you clicked in. New York creates new tax exemptions for solar. New York has signed three bills to incentive solar installations in the state by creating state tax credit and accepting solar systems from a variety of taxes. The bills include state tax credits for the lease of solar equipment and power purchase agreements, sales tax exemptions for commercial solar equipment and an expansion of the real property tax abatement in New York City for solar equipment. Conergy builds power plant in Worpswede. German-based Conergy AG announced that it has developed a 3.4 MW solar PV power plant for German private investor Stefan Johansen. The new PV plant, located in Artis village of Worpswede in Lower Saxony, follows the inauguration of an 8 MW solar park with uh, Conergy also constructed for Stefan Johansen. The Worpswede solar park is the fourth PV plant Conergy realized for this investor. Massachusetts – Growth and Renewables The Massachusetts Clean Energy Center announced that clean energy economy in Massachusetts grew by 11.2% from July 2011 to July 2012. The growing sector now employs 71,523 people at 4,995 clean energy companies across Massachusetts, according to a report of BW Research Partnership. This growth outpaced the overall economy nearly 10 times over and it is expected to continue. IBM Research develops new PV cell. IBM Research has achieved 11.1% conversion efficiency with the copper zinc tin CZTS Synfirm solar photovoltaic cell, which can be manufactured using ink-based techniques including printing or casting. IBM Research states that the wide availability of materials for these cells is differentiating CZTS cells from dominant Synfirm technologies, including copper and indium gallium, deselenate and cadmium telluride. Heavy losses for Trina Solar. Chinese solar company Trina Solar has released results for the second quarter of 2012, reporting a 40% year-over-year decline in revenues to $346 million, an operating margin of minus 23% and a net loss of $92.1 million. The company notes that its results were impacted by a number of factors, including inventory write-downs as well as the ongoing collapse in the price of solar PV models. As far as the news for today, tomorrow we will be back for you as usual on our website pv.tv. Have a nice time, see you and goodbye.